just a little shopping trip. <laughs> I attempted to make a chocolate slab and it was a disaster. So today we're going to make a Valentine's Day chocolate slab. Fingers crossed everybody. Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to go to my favourite shop and I'm going to share my new favourite cookbook with you as well. Um, so stick around for shopping, home renovations, vlogs and reviews. So today we're going to go to HomeSense. As a lot of you know, my favourite shop is HomeSense, TK Maxx. So I'm really looking forward to going to HomeSense today and I'm going to have a look to see if I can find a nice ornament that can go on my windowsill. But like all HomeSense shopping trips, I'll probably go in for one thing and then come out with like 20 other good finds. <laughs> so it's just a case of seeing what they have in there and what looks good really. So we'll see what's new in for February in HomeSense. Are there any other shops that I'm missing? So I know obviously about TK Maxx and HomeSense and Neptune for homeware. They're some of my favorite ones. Are there any shops that you recommend that I'm missing? Let me know below and then we can go shopping there too. Right, let's hit the road, head on our way, go to HomeSense. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in long conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you Coffee table's quite nice, isn't it? Kind of gives me like beach vibes, I think Because it's like slightly whitewashed Let's have a look at some of the cushions as well the Soft ones Have some flower cushions 20 pound That spring feeling in. Some rabbits, rabbits and flowers. It's a very like full cushion that one. And they lived happily ever after. Ooh. Don't know how much it is. There we go. 20 pounds. Cushions over here. We've got some William Morris ones. 20 pounds. Some lamps. These books are cool because they open up. Life is a beautiful adventure. Always take the scenic route. Here's some more cushions here. Dog ornament is 25. I like this rabbit cushion. It's like a nice long one. Why are things jumping off the shelf? <laughs> it's 25. Some more blankets over here. So we've got some flower ones. Whites, pinks and blues. <laughs> this has got daisies on but it's still fluffy. I like this. Looks cosy but still kind of spring vibes too. How much is it? It's so hard to find the, the price on the blankets because <laughs> they're so big. No, nope, that's the, that's the label. Where's the tag? 25, oversized blanket. 
I like this knitted one, but it's the wrong color for my bedroom. But that's really nice. Really like that. I like the flowers, and this one's got butterflies on as well. Look. Some more flowers, some heart blankets. Valentine's Day. I wonder if they have that blanket in a different colour. Some bees, some sparkles. Over by the beiges, and this one's quite nice. I like the pattern on it. But they don't have any, any like the pink one over here. This one feels nice, Jeff Banks. Which is a shame, because I like that knitted one. But I definitely would like it more in like this color, I think. Red Nose Day items in. I have some Valentine's Day things in as well. Smiley face on the heart cushion, $9.99. These are cute. Garlands. Syrups for coffee. Ooh, cinnamon vanilla. They have some more of the book boxes over here. Charles Dickens. I think they look really nice on a bookcase. And quite handy storage as well. World Encyclopedia. Great expectations. You have been in every line I have ever read. Maps of Europe. Always take the scenic route, love that. Things you can't say out loud. <laughs> it's quite heavy, I wonder if there's one inside. A loving heart was better and stronger than wisdom. Got quite a few Charles Dickens ones in here, haven't they? Don't press send. <laughs> Tips on taking a minute to consider the consequences. I love this quote. She believed she could, so she did. Oh, Mother's Day. It's in March, isn't it? Mother's Day things already. Some more Valentine's Day things over here. Nice little gift box. Heart-shaped barns. That's quite similar to the one in Asda. Our love is magic. Mm. What's this? I'm stuck on you. Is this a candle? Yep, scented candle. Oh, that's quite sweet. Oh, look at this little candle. How cute is that? $5.99. When I was in Australia, they had a IGA, which was like five minutes away from where I lived and they had whole shelves of dog candles and they cost about 50 to $60 each. So $5.99, that is crazy. Wow. Strength, I have the courage to act and believe strongly in my inner magic. They've got gratitude one as well. 
visible chill to pick up one of our gift cards today. I could use that and then that. This is really pretty. Botanical essentials. Mm. Not sure about smell, but it's pretty with all the little flowers in the top, not orange. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I like this one. Look at the flowers on it. $16.99. Smells nice too. Does not disappoint. <laughs> Some herbs for burning. Matches. Well behaved women do not make history. Sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Lewis Carroll. I like this one too. Pretty flowers. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Because you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you. Take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby And I think to myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else rest of our time and I know it so well I will always be by your side cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever and I feel so free oh my sweet baby I could get a dog with a ice cream cone on the top. It's quite dark around this section. Hopefully you can see okay. Wow. It's a large jewellery box. A sands timer with a compass on the top. Dot tray, pen cup with wide tray. Which is that five pound. Got an organiser here as well. Put all your pens in. You can have books or folders or letters there. Oh, lots of different ways to have this one. And it's six pound. They have lots of books in at the moment. And they've got some coffee table books as well. So, I do have a few of the Lonely Planet books, Ultimate Travel List, The 500 Best Places on the Planet Ranked. I don't think I have that one, um, but they're really good. They're, your trip starts here. Yeah, they're really good. And you can see, so you get quite good pictures and then information about places too. You get a map as well on lots of the places. Some other coffee table books, sun, moon, sun and moon. If I don't break everything, twenty four ninety nine instead of sixty pound. 
the art of home and then they've got some recipe books as well life meets art this is cool so I'll show you what it looks like with the cover off as well So, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's famous people's houses. So rooms in famous people's homes. David Bowie. It doesn't have a price on this one. It's not how much it is. I like this one as well. Recipes and traditions from the real Dalton Abbey. Obviously this is a Christmas book beautiful book even though it's Christmas it's still a beautiful book I wonder if this has got a sales sticker on yes so it's 18 pound so obviously I'm not really thinking about Christmas don't know about you but I'm not really feeling Christmas at the moment oh, I love these books as well these are Tolkien books it's got illustrations in as well The Ring Legends of Tolkien. I've heard about this book as well. It's supposed to be really good. £10 instead of 13 That's not much of a reduction, home sense, is it? Casual is key. I <laughs> the sign. So we're over in the stationery section. Ah, uh, fight for a mansplainer. These are quite cute. Pen, pencil, pot holders. Got quite a lot of organisation as well. Ooh, so this is called an Olio box, and then you can fit a monitor on the top. A holder tray. Oh, forget about pens. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. So it was a pen holder. Just hold your Starbucks. Yeah, I like these. I've had one of these before. So it spins. Well, it's slightly different to that one. Desk organizers. Some bins at the bottom here as well. I like these. Drawers with the leather handles or leather look handles. And it's £15. Little boxes. They're quite cute. 279. 3.49 for the bigger one. Brush lettering. Happy mind, happy life. 1299. Squeeze when you make an oopsie daisy. What's popping? Oh, what are these? Coffee cup pencil holder. Date night bucket list. Places to go, dates to have, ways to connect, things to make. 60 cards and prompts. That's nice. $5.99. Desk organizer. Wow, you can just buy a whole set and organize yourself. Look, I like the rabbit one. Quite handy, aren't they? Twelve ninety nine. This comes with a magazine holder, pencil part, letter rack, and filing tray. Bird box, woodwork. Six ninety nine. 
create your own bird box. Cute Easter family moulding. Uh, Easter decoration kit. And this looks like scrapbook pages as well. Oops, a daisy. Bunny kisses. We've got some Easter mugs. These ones. Hoppy days. Oh, a little rabbit on the top. Five pound. Oh. A little face. Oh. Bunny rabbit shaped mug. That's six pounds. Mugs are usually about five, six pounds in home sense. What's this one say? Chirp. Is it Ray Dunn? Yeah, Ray Dunn mug. I like the one at the back, spread the love. Napkins and tablecloths. I like this one. Right off the end, four napkins. And then they have a matching, is it tablecloth or runner? Tablecloth. It's like the blue. A heart one, which would be good for Valentine's Day. Quite nice too. some William Morris coasters. Yeah, just checking there, William Morris, 
you like that? How much is it? $14.99. That's lovely. Really, really like that. Wow, I like this chair. Got a price? Yes. Oh, look at this rabbit. Ten pounds. <laughs> Not sure about the egg. That's <laughs> seven. Oh, these are cute. Look at this. It's ten pounds. Oh. Well, I like this little guy too. Seven ninety nine. Oh, which is this one? Twenty. So six pounds. Maybe that's what I should get for my shelf. Something like Easter like. <laughs> which I can put up at Easter time and then change it out. Oh, that'd look nice with a candle in. $7.99. Oh, it's pretty. Made up of lots of little flowers. Oh. Don't like how shiny that is, but I think it's cute with the butterfly on the top. Got Easter baskets. And garland. Happy Easter. Oh, 
Oh, I like that one. Little rabbits. Ten pound. So usually when I come into HomeSense in this coat, I end up with fluff all over it because I've been around the um, blankets or I've been around the rugs. So today I'm going to resist the urge of picking anything up. So no blankets, no rugs. I'm not buying them. I'm not going to touch them. So I don't have to limp roller my coat after being in here. I end up going, oh, covered. So I'm resisting the urge. Oh, they've got some nice dressing gowns in here at the moment. 30 pounds, some of them are red, reduced label to 24. Spa-like ones, I like the white ones with the gray trim. It's quite nice, all the white ones. Ralph Lauren lamps, 60 pound. How much is the big one at the bottom? You see a tag? Where's the tag? £100. Oven gloves, £6. Tea towels. Six pound. I feel very thick. Oh, look at the rabbit. Cute. Six pound. Time to check out and I'll show you what I purchased when we get home. I'm back. Just a little shopping trip. <laughs> Just made a coffee um, and then sitting in a new chair, which is a super de duper chair. So it like rocks, like swivels and rocks. So I'm gonna try really hard to sit still. I'm also gonna move you a little bit closer so you can see what I purchased a little bit better. Hi, that's better. So, went to HomeSense, you saw all the wonderful things they have in store at the moment and purchased just a little bit. So I'm gonna show you what I got, why I got it, and then also share my favorite cookbook with you and we might make some dinner too. So I purchased this, my bedside book of gratitude and goals. So it costs 10 pounds instead of 15. I just love the color and also think it's gonna be really useful. So inside <laughs> welcome to your bedside book of gratitude and goals um, writing down what you're grateful for goals for the next day brain dump empty your head of all the things that are keeping you awake at night reflect plan and then rest which sounds perfect so in the pages look like that so I think that'd be really good I used to do that um, when I was in Australia after I'd finished um, my work day. I'd like divide my page up. Hello. Hello, Cookie. Are you coming up then? She's like, it's almost time for you to feed me. 
Anyway, so when I was in Australia, I used to, at the end of my uh, work day, divide my page up and write something good that had happened, something bad that had happened, a problem and a way to solve that problem. So I was like, okay, this is a problem, but tomorrow I can do this and that will get that sorted so I don't have to worry about it or overthink it or spend any brain time on it um, once I'd left work. So I'm hoping that this, my bedside book, will help with that as well. It's cute as well, I like the gold and the blue. Also got these eggs, and you'll see why in a moment. So they were $6.99, I like the colours. So I've got this rabbit for £10. They had lots of rabbits in already in HomeSense, and just thought this one was very cute. It looks like he's smiling. So I'm gonna pop this on the windowsill and then put the eggs around him. So I've got a little Easter setup going on. May not put the eggs out yet, but this guy is definitely going on the windowsill. So pleased with that. That'll go in the kitchen. So I didn't actually find something for my bedroom, which is what I went for. I can remember before I said, you end up going for one thing and come out of like 20 other things. That definitely happened today. <laughs> definitely happened today. So I haven't got anything for my windowsill. But I am planning a Neptune trip soon. So possibly, possibly next week or the week after I'm gonna to go to Neptune. So I'll see if there's something I can put on my windowsill from there because I love Neptune things too. But I didn't find anything that was really like shouting out bedroom for me in um, Home Sense today. So rabbit eggs. A new water bottle, it had lots of water bottles to choose from, but this is um, a thousand milliliters, so it's a litre, and I like that it's labelled, because I just find, even though this one doesn't have the time, my other one is bigger, it has the time next to it, so it's like, oh, you should have drank like 300 milliliters by nine o'clock. Um, just having those markers on, like mentally, helps me to drink more water, because I'm like, oh, okay, I've drank 500 milliliters, I really need to drink some more. So I find that quite useful. And then this one, like it just flicks down, pings off. Also, if I sound quite nasally, um, I think I'm getting a cold. I'm pretty sure I'm getting a cold. I was thinking I was going to go all winter with no cold, but I think I have a cold. So that might be why if I sound different. In, in my head, I sound different, so. <laughs> Probably can't tell, it's just me, but that's how I'm feeling at the moment. I just want to keep drinking like hot drinks and soup and things like that. We're fine, next week I'll be fine, be over it. I'm like, what, what should I show you next? So for Chinese New Year, I brought some snacks from China. Not literally from China, I didn't take a trip over there. But these are from China and we're in HomeSense. So it does say product of China. And these are one bite tomato crispy potato snacks. So I thought that would be yummy to eat on Chinese New Year. And then also got some soft milk candy. Oh, how much were the potato chips? There were 2.49. I think I'm gonna move the camera down again so you can see a bit better. There we go, is that better? I feel like that's better. Soft milk candy, two forty nine. dollars So, and these are strawberry flavour. And then these are white rabbit creamy candy. And they were $2.99. They just look like some little sweets for Chinese New Year. And then I also purchased last time, Home Sense, time before. Or was it TK Maxx? Last time I went to TK Maxx, also brought some other snacks for Chinese New Year, and I'll do a trying of those over on Instagram. So if you don't have me on Instagram, add me, and you can see my reactions in real time. But I'll be trying those on Chinese New Year. Also, they had some beautiful books, didn't they, in HomeSense. Um, lots and lots of beautiful books. So I purchased this coffee table book, The Art of Home, The Magic Happens at the Intersection of Beauty and Livability. So, and it was £15 instead of £23, £22.99. So it's got some beautiful photos as well. 
So I just think that's a beautiful coffee table book, but one that I'll actually look through as well. So I feel like it's important if you are buying coffee table books to buy ones that you actually like and not just because they're like the in coffee table book to have on your coffee table. Um, just because then you've got a dual purpose. It looks nice, but also you're excited to read it or look through it as well. So bedding, so classic wide stripe design. Can you see, like there is a picture, pictures on the back, there we go. So it looks like that. And it was 17 pound, it says 60. So again, I feel like that's a really good price and it wasn't on clearance, so it's an amazing price. And then I got a four in one citrus juicer. I don't think I'll use the egg yolk separator, but with the new cookbook I've been using, um, I am like zesting and juicing lemons and limes more. And this is like four in one, so you can do that. And it's a measuring jug. It took me a little bit to work out what the four in one was, because I could see the, obviously zest and juice the lemon, but I was like, I'm not sure what else. You have the measuring jug here. You've got the lemon or lime juicer, orange juicer, whatever fruit you're juicing. You've got the juicer there. And then you have the grater as well. Measuring jug, grater, juicer, and then, I don't even know how you do that egg yolk separator. Ah, okay. And then you flip this round. So juicer that side and then flip it round the other side for the egg yolk separator in the middle. So it's going to be really useful. How can they never go back in the way they came out? Anyone else have that problem? Ta-da! Kind of, almost there. Yay, got it back in the box. Hotel collection. Waffle blanket made of pure cotton. This waffle blanket blends the traditional waffle weave with contemporary colors to make a perfect lightweight summer blanket. And I love the pattern. And it was on clearance. And it's really soft. So many ends. I hope that wasn't too rattly for you there. Look. How beautiful is this? It's like waffle blanket and it's 175 by 225 centimeters and it cost 24 pound, which is a bargain. Yeah, feels amazing. I liked the pink, like, like knitted blanket that was in Home Sense, but I wanted something that was like more creamy, white, beigey, you know, like more neutral, natural colors. That's a lot of description words, but you know what I mean, rather than the pink, which is definitely not gonna go with my room. So I was looking for something a little bit more like that. And I'm still on the lookout for a knitted blanket that looks like that. So it's quite thin, but so I could use it in summer or winter. Would I use a knitted blanket in summer? Like to make up with a bed? Well, probably not, but I could use it in like winter, spring, autumn. And so it's lightweight, but it's knitted and it's natural colors. So if you see one and you're like, ah, oh, that's probably what I'm looking for. Let me know, let me know where I can get one because I'm still searching at the moment. I know I asked at the beginning of this video, but do you have any shop recommendations? So I do have a few favorites, which I absolutely love, but somewhere for homeware that you're like, oh, you must go here, it's amazing. If you have any shop recommendations, please let me know below. And then I can go there and we can see what's new then. I um, also purchased this, which says T on, and then it's hinged, so you open it up, and I'm gonna pop, oh, and I'm gonna pop um, tea bags in it. So I think that'll look really nice sitting on the side and then we'll put some tea bags in. I'll do that in a moment. You can have a look, see what you think. And um, oh, I'm also gonna show you my favorite cookbook. So this is the cookbook. It's by Ella Mills and it's healthy, made simple. So delicious plant-based recipes ready in 30 minutes or less. 
deliciously Ella and today I think we're going for the sun-dried tomato basil and olive pasta oh we had this crispy cauliflower and thyme bake and that said served two and there was heaps it does say this does make two quite generous portions and they were definitely right um, which is always nice I like it when it makes a little bit more because I love leftovers uh, one pan spinach leek and pesto orzo that was amazing and that was grated zest and juice of one lemon and I definitely did my new juicer but I've got it now we've had a couple of meals out of it already and yeah very tasty filling and yeah I'm pleased healthy which is nice too I'll now fill up my new tea box so we use English tea shop organic tea and I also have some twinings as well so this got for Christmas because you know how much I like tea so we'll fill up the tea box So the tea box has been filled up. I know what I'm cooking tonight. I'm gonna to share a photo here of last night's dinner and that also came out of the recipe book. Um, so if you're looking for healthy, quick meals, then can recommend so far. I've tried probably a handful of recipes from the book and I'm impressed, so might be worth a try if that's something you're interested in. So in last week's video, I attempted to make a chocolate slab and it was a disaster. So today we're gonna to make a Valentine's Day chocolate slab. Fingers crossed everybody, we've got this. It's gonna turn out well. Okay, here we are, take two, we've got this. So different chocolate this time, milky bar, dairy milk, dairy milk. And we're just gonna open up the chocolate bars. Rattle, rattle. Gonna pop the milk chocolate in the middle. The white chocolate even, sorry. The white chocolate in the middle. And then, oh, I think this chocolate bar's broken. It'll still be fine. <laughs> great big, great big break in the middle. There we go, either side. So either side, we're gonna put the milk chocolate. So white chocolate's in the middle. There we go. And on a very low temperature, we're gonna pop the chocolate in the oven and we're not going to take it out until it's ready so there'll be no double cooking this time and to decorate the chocolate slab we have sprinkles and haribo heart throbs now they may be open because i might i might i might have i might have already eaten a heart sweetie i might have already eaten a heart sweetie I'm going to resist the urge and pop them on the side, ready, and wait for the chocolate to melt. The chocolate is melted, it's out the oven, and I just had a little test down here to make sure it was okay, and I think it's ready. So we're just going to swirl the chocolate around. I'm just using a skewer, you can use anything like this <laughs> that's going to work, and just mix the chocolates together and create a cool pattern. It was a lot of fun. 
it doesn't matter that the milky bar was slightly bigger as well because you can just kind of like grab that and extend the chocolate slab out and you can put anything you like on it so obviously this is going to be a valentine's day chocolate slab but you can make easter ones i made a christmas one at christmas time oh my goodness this is turning out so much better than on the last video do you think that's because of the chocolate I used? So I used Galaxy last time and this one is Cadbury chocolate. As she saw Galaxy without its shine. So it's quite a glossy chocolate bar. And it definitely wasn't by the time we'd melted it. <laughs> but it would not swirl like this. It was not happy. So I don't know whether it's because I tried to remelt the chocolate or whether it was because it was Galaxy chocolate, but it did not turn out like this. I don't want some more of the white over here, don't I? You can even push it out more if you want, so you got like thinner slab. Oh, I wonder if I could make like a swirly heart. You can see that, can't you? That heart going on there. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit hard around the edges. I tried to write the word love in it. So the L and O, V, and then it E there too. <laughs> swirly, swirly, swirly. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add some decorations. All the love hearts. And then we'll just pop that in the fridge, let it cool and set, and then we can break it up and pop it in a jar. Are we ready? I know you're dying to see it. Ta-da! So much better than last time, yay! We have our Valentine's Day chocolate slab. Woo! I could have spelled out the word love with the sprinkles, couldn't I? Next time, next year. And then you just take your chocolate slab and you just kind of break it up into pieces. So last week we had a failed attempt at a chocolate slab and this week, yay, we have the chocolate Valentine's Day slab and then I've just broken it up so it's more like, um, like chocolate bark. I'm happy. If you are making sweet treats for Valentine's Day, let me know in the comments below what you're making. Thank you so much for coming shopping with me today and having a lovely day together. It's always a good day when we go to HomeSense. Coming up soon, I'm gonna to go to Neptune to see what's new in. I've got more shopping videos coming up and I'm gonna share some more home renovation videos. So I'm excited to share with you where we're up to so far with the house. So that'll be exciting and I'll see you in the next video. Check out this playlist if you want to see more shopping videos or this playlist if you want to see some home renovation videos. <laughs> Catch you next time. Bye.